Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding total travel distance. The difficulty level of this question is easy and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called users for two different columns, user ID and name. User ID is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains user ID and name. Also, we are given a second table called rides with three different columns, ride ID and user ID distance. Ride ID is the column of unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains ride ID, user ID and travel distance. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the distance traveled by each user. If there is a user who hasn't completed any rides, then their distance should be considered as zero. Output the user ID name and total travel distance. Return the result table ordered by user ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So here you have five different riders. Addison, Ethan, Michael, Avery and Eleanor and you have various rights. So if you look at it, Eleanor does, does not have any rights. So obviously in the output, we have 10 Eleanor and total travel distance is equal to zero. And for everyone else, so for example, Addison 17. So there is only one right. So total travel distance is 160. For Ethan, you have two different rights. So 161 plus 25 and so on. And that is what you have in our output. So since we have the columns that we want in the output in two different tables, so we need to perform a join. Now, since we need to keep every user irrespective of whether they had a ride or not, so obviously we need to perform a left join, right? So this is how you know what kind of join you need to perform. So what we can do is from this table called users alias as you, let us perform a left join because we want the distance column from the rights table. So rights as are using the common column called user id let us keep all the columns from the user so select u dot star but we are only concerned about the distance column from the rights right so r dot distance and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it now we have for every user id name and the distance they travel and for eleanor we have null right obviously because there is no right now we need for every user id and name what is the total distance traveled so we can group by user id and name and calculate the sum of the distance to get the total distance so let us go ahead and do group by u dot user id then u dot name in the output we also need user id and u dot name and we need the sum of our distance right so sum of this distance is going to give us the total travel distance so as and if i go ahead we need it as traveled distance and one thing you might note here there is no underscore here so you need a space but if you just simply go ahead and do traveled distance it is going to give you an error if i go ahead and do this right let me just do this it is going to give us an error so you see it says runtime error so what we need is because in the output if you just go ahead and try to do this with underscore it is going to give you a wrong answer why because the name won't match so to have that space between the names what we need to do is you need to wrap this in single inverted comma and then you can have the space between them if i go ahead and run this now it is going to have the travel distance right so there is no syntax error now but there is one thing that we are missing we need to substitute the nulls or for example for people who have no rights to zero right so what we need is if you sum this and it comes out to be null you replace it so what you can do is just do if null then you replace it with zero okay now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get still wrong answer why because we need to order this by user id in ascending order so what we need to do is order by u dot user id let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so not a difficult question what we basically had to do was since the distance column is in the different table so we performed a join and we need to keep every user from the users table that is why we performed a left outer join of users on the right to get the r dot distance column we use the user id column to perform the join and we grouped by the user id and name because we need for every user id and name what is the total distance travel and since the requirement of the question is if it is null then you need to replace it by zero and then we also learned how to name with a space so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video